don't uh, settle for anything less. Praise the name of the living God. Can somebody declare my sermon? Don't uh, settle for anything less. Praise the name of the living God. Hatari moja ambayo tuko nayo katika maisha yetu na katika kanisa ni wakati tumekubalia kutosheka katika kiwango cha chini kuliko kiwango Mungu alikusudia. Hiyo ndiyo hatari kubwa tuko naye kama kanisa. Na hiyo ndiyo inafanya watu wanauliza kwani Mungu wenu wako wapi? Kwa sababu kanisa limekubalia kutosheka katika kiwango cha chini kuliko kile kiwango Mungu alikusudia. Paul alimwambia Timothy in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 from verse 1 they will act religious but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Stay away from people like that. Praise the name of the living God. Yaani kumaanisha kwamba hatari moja ya siku za mwisho ni kwamba people will be acting religious. But they have rejected the power that could have transformed them and they become like their God or they act like gods here on earth. Praise the name of the living God. Hiyo ndiyo shida kubwa tuko naye siku ya leo ya kwamba we have accepted to settle for less. Tumekubalia kuweka kiwango cha chini na kutosheka na kile kiwango kuliko kile kiwango ambacho Mungu alikusudia. One of my passion and my desire in life is to become all that God wanted me to be, no matter the cost. There are always opportunities to settle for something less. There is always opportunities to become a mediocre. Na useme, ah, hii kiwango niko na sisumbuki, na niko na gali, na niko na nyumba, na ninaishi maisha mazuri, niko na kanisa kubwa. Sineza kaivo, sinaweza wacha kujisumbua. That is a danger. When you accept to settle for anything less. And let me tell you, it is a demonic strategy. It began in the book of Exodus. When Moses was sent to deliver the children of Israel from Egypt. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 10 from verse 24. Pharaoh wanted Moses to settle for something less. Finally, Pharaoh called Moses, go and worship the Lord, he said, but leave your frocks and herds here. You may even take your little ones uh, with you. No, Moses said, no, Moses said, you must provide us with animals for sacrifice and burnt offerings to the Lord uh, our God. All our livestock must go with us too. Not a hoof can be left behind. We must choose our sacrifices for the Lord, our God, from among these animals. And we won't know how we are to worship the Lord until we get there. Praise the name of the living God. Moses alikuwa mepatiwa opportunity na farao. Farao mimi naonanga kama nasimamia shetani. Na majeshi yake ndiyo mapepo. Ya? Yeah? Sasa farao wakati aliona Musa ameanza kudemand. Na sio tu kudemand, ameanza hata kufanya ishara. Ameanza hata kudhihirisha nguvu za Mungu. Musa Musa akaitwa na farao, farao akamwambia sasa simuende tu anaume peke yenu kwa sababu hivyo ndivyo umekuwa ukiuliza. Unaona hata ana confuse. Because ya haku wanasema wanaume waende peke yao. Musa kakata. Kasema atuendi. Praise the name of the living God. Moses refused to settle for anything less. 
hata wakati farao alikuja akamwambia basi enenda na wake zenu na watoto wenu lakini mifugo yenu mali yenu muniwachie Moses said no Praise the name of the living God. I say no to the devil. I am not going to settle for anything less. I make a demand in the mighty name of Jesus that I must receive in this life all that God ordained for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, sometimes the enemy can tell you, you are blessed in this way. You are blessed in this way. Why are you demanding for more? You can settle here now. My message is don't settle for anything less than all that God wanted you to be. Hata wakati unaambiwa umebalikiwa, sema ni sawa nimebalikiwa, ninajua. Lakini ninajua bado hapa sio mwisho wangu. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Haya sio yale yote Mungu alikusudia. That is why Paul said in the book of Philippians chapter 3 and verse 12, I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things or I have already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus possessed for me. Paul anasema ya kwamba not that I have already obtained all this or I have already been made perfect but I place on to take hold of that which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Paul hata kama the Philippians wangemuona as a spiritual giant as an accomplished preacher as a great man of God Paul alikuwa anasema I want to know him. Philippians that 3 I want to know Christ uh, and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship uh, of sharing in his sufferings uh, becoming like him in his death Paul alikuwa anasema ya kwamba I want to know him and not knowing him only but experience the power that resurrected him and I am not fearing the cost I am ready to share in a suffering. Praise the name of the living God. I wish all preachers were like Paul. That no matter who pats your back and tells you you are a great man of God and tells you you are blessed. Praise the name of the living God. You still say I have not been made perfect. I am not yet there. Praise the name of the living God. I have not reached the mark. Praise the name of the living God. I know what Christ Jesus have gotten hold for me. I am pressing on. Praise the name of the living God uh, that I may get hold uh, of that which uh, Christ Jesus uh, got hold for me. Kuna mambo yale Yesu amenishikia na lazima niashike yote. Hapa sio mwisho wangu. Hallelujah. Kuna wakati adui anakuambia tu si utulie tu utosheke mahali huko. Musa alikuwa anaambiwa si utosheke tu ya kwamba mumekaa katika utumwa miaka hii yote. Na sasa nimewakubalia muende. Lakini muache mifugo yenu. Unajua mtu akiwa na shida katika maisha anaweza kufika mahali akibarikiwa kidogo anaona ni kana kwamba amefika. Ya? Hivyo ndivyo Farao alikuwa anaambia Musa, mumekaa katika utumwa sana hata kama mungepata tu uhuru, hata kama hamtaondoka na mali yenu, simuende tu. Lakini Musa alikuwa anajua ya kwamba wacha kukuachia ngombe, sisi ndio tutawapola. Tutachukua utajiri wenu tukitoka hapa kwa sababu hiyo ndio Mungu alituahidi ya kwamba tutakapotoka Misri we will be loaded with gold and silver. Wacha hivyo unasema mambo ya ngombe hapa. Praise the name of the living God. I refuse to settle for anything less. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, shetani anataka watu ambao wanajua neno. Shetani anataka watu ambao wanajua ahadi za Bwana. Shetani anajua watu ambao wanajua haki yao. Bwana asifiwe sana. So that you don't settle for anything less. 
Na unajua Musa hii ndio ilikuwa character yani kuna jambo Mungu alikuwa amefanya katika moyo wa Musa kutoka mwanzo wakati alitoa kutoka pale Misri if you read the book of Hebrews uh, chapter 11 uh, from verse 24 by faith when he had grown up refused to be known as a son of Pharaoh's daughter he chose uh, to be mistreated uh, along with the people of God uh, rather than to enjoy the pressures of sin for a short time. He regarded disgrace uh, for the sake of Christ uh, as of greater value than the treasures of Egypt uh, because he was looking ahead uh, to his reward. By faith he left Egypt, not fearing uh, the king's anger. He persevered uh, because he saw him who is invisible. By faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of the blood so that the destroyer of the firstborn would not touch uh, the firstborn of Israel. Who you are? That is Moses for you. Huh? Wakati alikoma, alisema ya kwamba, Mimi, siwezi kutosheka na kuitua the son of Pharaoh's daughter. They may call me a prince, but I don't care. I may be living in the state house. I don't care. I can leave the comfort of the palace because I will not settle for anything less. The Bible says uh, because he was looking forward uh, for his reward, he chose uh, to be mistreated uh, with God's people. That is Moses for you. Ya kwamba Moses alierewa ya kwamba you know, kuna watu wengi siku ya leo hawangeweza kuacha nafasi ambayo Moses aliwacha waende kwanza wateseke looking forward for the reward from God. Na hiyo ndiyo hii ndiyo inatusumbua kanisa. Sio kwamba hatujui vile tunapaswa kufanya, lakini watu wengi wameshindwa na kulipa gharama. Watu wengi wamekaa in the comfort zone. Watu wengi wanashindwa kutoka mahali wako. Lazima tutafute uhalisi wa Mungu that God is going to be tangible because God is not a myth. God is real. Praise the name of the living God. Hey, can somebody shout my God is real? The Bible says uh, Moses uh, saw him uh, who is invisible. That is why he did not fear. That is why he left uh, the palace. Na akasema to hell with being called uh, Pharaoh's uh, uh, daughter son. Hata kama mahali hapa ninaishi starehe. This is not my portion. I'm not going to settle for anything less. I know where I belong. I know my reward in God is greater than being here. I better pursue my reward in God. I think Moses was feeling the promptings of his calling. Anaambiwa there is a greater reward for you if you can only pay the cost. Ah, there is a greater reward. I want to make you like a god to Pharaoh. Praise the name of the living God. You are going to deliver my people from this land with great signs and wonders. And Moses finally decided to walk out. He decided, let me go and suffer. Brethren, this is a time to say, I am going to pray. I am going to fast. I am going to seek God more than ever before. I am going to pay any, to pay any kind of cost as the promptings of the Holy Spirit are leading me. The Bible says, when Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit came upon him and he was read in the desert for 40 days and for 40 nights, the promptings of his calling, Roho wa Mungu akamwambia sasa, hautarudi nyumbani. Hautaenda kawaida. Twende jangwani, twende tukalipe gharama, twende ukaombe, twende ukafunge. Don't settle for anything less. 
Praise the name of the living God. Uh, somebody shout, I refuse to settle. Somebody speak to yourself uh, and say, I refuse to settle. I refuse to settle for anything less. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Wengine ndiyo tuko na majina tunaitwa. Wengine tuko na cheo. Wengine tuko na nafasi mungu wa metupatia. Lakini wapendwa. Hata Musa alikuwa na cheo. Hata Musa alikuwa katika mahali alikuwa anaishi vizuri lakini akasema i am a mature person i know what god has called me to do yes there will be a time of paying the cost and suffering praise the name of the living god si mungu atusaidie kama kanisa why are we settling for anything less jesus said i'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail why are we settling for anything less? Awake, awake, oh Zion, and put on your strength in the name of Jesus. Receive the authority and the power that belongs to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Uh, somebody obey the promptings uh, of the Holy Spirit uh, and say, yes, Lord, uh, I refuse uh, to settle for anything less uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, it doesn't matter what I have, uh, what I am, uh, all that I am, uh, all that I have uh, belongs to him. Uh, I thank him for this far, but there is still a higher level. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. If we can only be determined and declare, I am going for all that God called me to be. Praise the name of the living God. I desire to see supernatural fruitfulness in my life. Tangible things that people can testify. This is not natural. This is beyond human. Wali muangalia Nehemaya wakasema na ni makafiri na maadui wakasema huyu ako na Mungu. Na ni Mungu amemsaidia. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Nebukadineza alijua Danieli ako na Mungu. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Shadak na Meshak na Abednego. Hata kama they were in the verge of dying for their faith. Mungu aliweza kuinua because unless a kernel of wheat falls down and it dies, it binds around until you die to self. When you die to self and you say enough is enough. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. I want to provoke someone tonight uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, refuse to settle for anything less. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, there is more that is available for you. In the name of Jesus, uh, Paul said, I want to know him uh, and the power that resurrected him from the dead. Uh, he said, I'm pressing on uh, that I may be able to get hold uh, of that which Christ Jesus uh, has got and hold for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the church uh, today has settled uh, for less. Praise the name of the living God. Kama ingekuwa ni wakati wa Musa, si shetani angefurahia sana, aone Musa ameondoka bila mifugo, ama wanaume wameenda peke yao, wanawake wamewachwa na watoto. Because of settling for less. Why are we settling for less? Wokovu huu ni wetu na jamii zetu. Ahadi ambazo Mungu ametupatia lazima tuamini Mungu ya kwamba they are going to become a reality in our lives. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are functioning in our lives. The Bible says them that believe they shall cast out demons. Wewe ni mtu wa kuongea wa kuambia pepo toka na sio lazima uwe na title ya bishop ama apostle. Them that believe they shall cast out demons. They shall highly lay hands upon the sick, and the sick shall recover. Why have we settled for less? 
We must arise in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. There must be a remnant in the mighty name of Jesus. Wakati Daudi alifanyika mfalme, the Bible says in the time of Sora, the ark of the covenant was neglected. But when David became a king, and you know, worship was still going on. Even without the Ark of the Covenant, even without the presence of God, worship was still going on. But when David became a king, he said, I cannot go and worship religiously. No, we must go for the Ark of the Covenant. I desire the glory of God. I desire the presence of God. I cannot fake my worship in the mighty name of Jesus. I cannot act my worship. I am not an actor. I am a worshiper. Jesus said uh, the Father is seeking uh, for worshipers uh, who are going uh, to worship him uh, in truth uh, and in spirit. Uh, true worshipers. Praise the name of the living God. We should not fake our worship. If God is not there, he is not there. Tukubali mungu ayuko, ametuacha, na tuanze kumutafuta. Let's not fake our worship. Hata kama tunachezewa viombo. Hata kama tunaambiwa imba. Ah? Toa vitambaa ruka ruka. Unaweza kutoa jasho, lakini bado Mungu hayuko. Praise the name of the living God. Leo watu wanaabudu tu, ni acting tu. Hata wanajua tu hata Mungu hayuko hapa. Praise the name of the living God. They are actors. Kama mungu hayuko, tukubali hayuko, tumulilie, tumuambie buwana, tuhurumie, tusamehe dhambizetu, na uturudie tena. Praise the name of the living God. Don't fake your salvation. Don't fake your relationship with God. If he is not there, he is not there. Accept and go on your knees and tell God, I desire to have fellowship with you in my life. Praise the name of the living God. Exodus chapter 23 from verse 29 Mungu akawaambia wana wa Israeli but I will not drive them out in a single year because the land will become desolate and wild animals too numerous for you. Little by little I will drive them out before you until you have increased enough to take possession of the land. I will establish your borders from the Red Sea uh, to the Sea of Philistines and from the desert to the river. I will hand over to you the people who live in the land uh, and you drive them out before you. I love this portion of scripture because it gives you the reality of how God works with his people. That he gives you the land uh, literal by literal. As you continue to increase, as you continue to grow, but as you continue receiving little by little, you're not supposed to settle halfway. Whereas uh, there is still more land uh, to possess. Whereas uh, you have not reached uh, your boundaries. And you are maturity. Kukoma jambo moja maturity in a kukusaidia as a believer ni kuelewa ni nini Yesu amefanya kwa ajili yako na ni nini Yesu amekushikia that is maturity watu wale machua kwa nyumbani wanajua shamba yetu inafika pale ile protein yetu praise the name watoto huwa hawajui mali yao lakini watu wale wamekomaa wanajua mali yao because hiyo mali yao ndio ulithi wao Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17 I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the glorious Father may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better I pray also that your eye, the eyes of your heart uh, may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which uh, he has called you the leeches 
of his glorious inheritance in the saints. Praise the name of the living God. To Jue Ulithi na Utajiri ambao Mungu ametuitia katika watakatifu wake. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Kuwa na ufunuo ya kwamba huyu Yesu aliyekufa wakati alikufa ni nini hii ilifanyika? Ni nini napaswa nikaweze kupokea juu ya kifo chake msarabani? Tunakaa nikana kwamba hata hii kazi ya msaraba ni kama haina nguvu. Tunakaa ni kama hata hizi ya hadi they are not real. Praise the name of the living God. May you become an, a living epistle in the mighty name of Jesus. Si uwe barua ambayo watu wanaweza kusoma. Wawe wanasema hivi ndivyo Mungu huwa anabariki watu wale wanaomgojea, watu wale wanaomtafuta. Hivi ndivyo Mungu huwa anawafanyia katika maisha yao. May you become a living epistle in our generation in the mighty name of Jesus. May you become a letter that can be led by all uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, sio barua tu ambayo imeandikwa kwa maneno lakini barua ambayo imeandikwa kwa matendo ya ukuu wa Bwana katika maisha yako in the mighty name of Jesus uh, oh my god uh, i pray that in Jesus name uh, god is raising men and women uh, who are going to become uh, living epistles barua ambayo inasomwa inaonyesha ukuu wa Mungu wetu Praise the name of the living God Refuse to settle for anything less I refuse to settle for anything less I will become all that God wanted me to be Praise the name of the living God I will possess everything that God wanted me to possess in this life in the mighty name of Jesus Mimi sitaki kufa niende binguni nikaambiwe unajua pale duniani ulikuwa uwe hivi na hivi ulikuwa umiliki mambo haya na haya kiroho ulikuwa utembea na nguvu kiasi hii ulikuwa udhihirishe utukufu wa Mungu kiasi hii lakini haukuweza kusimamia haya yote Praise the name of the living God when I die may God help me that I will die I empty in the mighty name of Jesus uh, nitakufa nikiwa nimewachilia nikiwa nimetoa kila kitu ambacho Mungu aliwachilia juu ya maisha yangu na kataa kutajirisha kaburi katika jina la Yesu Kristo lazima nidhihirishe kila baraka kila utajiri kila ukuu ambao Mungu alikuwa amekusudia katika maisha yangu in the name of Jesus uh, hata wewe hauta kutajirisha kaburi utaimba hizo nyimbo utaandika hizo vitabu utafungua hizo biashara utasaidia hao wajane na mayatima utafufua waliokufa utaombea wale visiwi katika jina la Yesu Kristo utatembea na matendo ya ukuu wa Mungu in the mighty name of Jesus may you become a living epistle in the mighty name of Jesus refuse to settle for anything lesser the church must refuse to settle for anything less praise the name of the living god binasema Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10 ya kwamba Mungu alikuwa anataka hekima yake ya namna nyingi ijulikane na falme na mamlaka katika ulimwengu wa roho kupitia kanisa his intent was that now through the church the manifold wisdom of god should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms Moses said no to Pharaoh. I say no to the devil. I refuse to settle for anything less. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say no. I refuse to settle for anything less. In the name of Jesus. Hey Shakabaganda. Rekabaganda Masia. Can you call upon the name of the Lord tonight and say no. I refuse to settle for anything less. In the name of Jesus. 